I need to change this. Let's change the read. Five. And today is day three of getting back to shape on the saxophone. I have been playing for only three days after not having played for a month. And um, today I feel a bit better, even though I just, ha I just played for just the line that you just saw. <laughs> and um, as you can see, I just destroyed my read because it wasn't working anymore. You know, it's been sitting there for a month and it's it's just you know i did those two days with you guys and it's just time to change the read if you guys are wondering what read do i use i use these ones here v16 number three well i actually vary between three and two and a half depending what i have to do what mock piece i have this one here is a major six sometimes i use the classical selmer c double star but mainly i use the major six now and anyway v16 here of for me are the best because they're the most consistent within a package i played with the blue ones for a while for like years and years and years and i always found that those blue ones are tend to vary a lot more than these ones here so my recommendation try v16 if you don't like then try and try something else stick with with what works for you you know uh, Now let's see if this works. Oh, nice. Okay, for today, because I, I feel that my muscles are, are just better. You know, I did those two general days with you guys and that was just... It was bad because you're coming from not having played you know so you have to refresh your brain your your muscles now there are everything's a little bit more in place you know and now i can start to drill more things i can be a little bit more specific so i'm gonna start with a little bit of long notes just using the neck you might have seen me playing the neck in in some other videos as well explaining the embouchure and tongue and stuff like that and one thing that i often forget is how powerful practicing with the neck is you know no matter what level you are if you just do long notes using this your sound is just gonna it's just gonna improve so much okay so don't forget to do a little bit of long notes using the neck How do you think I feel after having played a few long notes on the neck? Do I feel good? Do I feel okay? Or do I feel bad? I feel okay. Okay. Um, my sound is now perfectly um, stable and straight uh, because my muscles are not there yet. Uh, but I feel okay. You know, the reason why I didn't do it at the beginning of my, uh, well, two days ago, three days ago, it was be because I wanted to have a more general picture. Now I'm going a little bit more into the specific and I can hold it, you know, I can be, um, I can be more detailed, okay? It's okay, it's not a bad sound, but sometimes it dips down, sometimes there's funny noises and stuff like that. So I just need to hold it a little bit more, okay?
So funny enough, after I told you that I felt okay on those notes, I went back and, do, <clears throat> and did these long notes again, and already something had changed, you know? So I played for what? Two, three minutes or something? Then I, I had a little break of a few seconds, the time I had to talk to you, and, now, and then I went back. Whoa! Massive change. I was here, I was okay. Now I feel, I feel better, way better. Because sometimes you need a little bit of refresh for your mind in order to, uh, to process things, you know, like, so the brain went like, oh yeah, I know, I know how to do long notes with the neck. And then I went, bah, you know, much more straight, more powerful, more open. Okay. Um, is it perfect? No, yet. Yeah. But it's but it's getting closer to what I like. Okay, um, so re remember that whether you're doing low notes, whether you're doing a piece, whether you're, whether you're doing scales or a, a study or improvising on a particular chord progression, whatever you're doing, remember to take very short breaks. Say you're doing ten minutes or ten, twenty minutes, then take five minute break. Breaks are super important. Don't go playing for one hour and a half, two hours without stopping. Sometimes we, you know, we just do it um, because breaks are super good and super important to actually progress faster. Now, um, I think I'm done with the neck. Okay, just you know, was again, it's, it's still a general revision, um, and now I'm gonna do the same thing with the saxophone. about doing low notes with the neck is that when you transition back to the saxophone you just feel amazing <laughs> you feel so good and i feel actually much better if you remember on day one i was doing some some low notes on on the chromatic scale and i felt i felt horrible i felt really bad you know now i'm going back to that exercise of doing low notes on the on the chromatic scale i'm just holding one note straight and everything just feels better you know i'm concentrating on having a really nice and relaxed sound so my throat is pretty open, my embouchure is relaxed, um, which are concepts that <laughs> apply to everyone, whether you are total beginner, intermediate, advanced, pro, you know, everyone should know this. And um, so I'm concentrating on that, okay? And, uh, and I already feel better because I've done a little bit of, of long notes with the neck. And then I always say, if you're okay on the neck, then when you go back to the saxophone, you will feel amazing. Okay, so the, the better you are with the neck, the better player uh, you're going to be on the saxophone because we don't want to play necks. You know, it's just it's weird. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I just changed topic completely and I went and get my dear friend a metronome. <laughs> so if you notice in these three days I haven't played with a metronome because my idea my aim was to have a general picture of the sound, um, strengthen back my muscles and allow my musical brain to, to come back. So I wasn't really bothered about being in time or just on. So now, after doing all the work on the sound, now I, I, I picked an A on the alto and, um, and I just put the metronome at 60 and I left it at 60. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a 60. Okay, and I just worked on tongue. It's more than tongue and workout. It's more of a rhythm workout. Okay, and it happens to be tongued. So I just I was tonguing an A, and then I was changing the rhythmic values. Okay, so I started with quarter notes for four bars, then I went to eighth notes for four bars, then I went to triplets for four bars, then I went to sixteen notes for four bars, then I went to quintuplets for four bars, and then to sextuplets. For four bars at the end of the fourth bar on the um on the four of the fourth bar i did a rest so i could actually have the time to breathe so um say this is the fourth bar you know so in the fourth um beat i take a i take a break Okay, so what I just did was a C major arpeggio, uh, broken arpeggio, um, in quintuplets. So I started really, really slow. I started at 44, I think, 44, and then I went all the way up very, very slowly, basically. Uh, I think it was like maybe two or three steps at a time, and then I reached around 80. So I started this low. Right? And then slowly I went all the way up to, this is 80. It's too fast. And so on. Now I have changed the topic completely. Well, I was doing quintuplets before, now I'm doing th intervals or thirds on C major and A minor. <laughs> Personally, um, I've always liked thirds, well, intervals in general, more than more than scales and, and, and arpeggios, just because I feel that intervals give you uh, that depth of playing that you that you get from playing intervals that scales and arpeggios don't really give you so much. But uh, uh, nevertheless, scales, arpeggios, intervals are something that you need to do. Um, regardless of where you are beginner intermediate advanced you know it's something super core that it's that if you do on a consistent basis then you're gonna really feel the improvement on your on your playing so today i only did c major and a minor i was going through the articulations of the a little bit of old legato a little bit of old staccato a little bit of two legato two staccato um i did three legato one staccato one staccato, three legato, uh, legato every two. Um, just I mixed it up a little bit. Uh, there's a link in the description here below um, with the seven basic articulations that you can download. It's just a PDF, just a page uh, where I just list the seven basic articulations that I normally do. And um, I've always liked scales so much since I was 12. Um, 
I don't know why, but it's just, it's good because it, it works. You can work on your tone, on your, on your technique, on your speed. If you do with the metronome, you know, you can do it, start slow at 60 or whatever, and then you go up step by step. And if you do that consistently every day, then you're going to achieve super great results. It's just a matter of doing it consistently over time and um, with no rush. Okay, so today, today is my third day only after not having played for a month. I only did C major and A minor. I didn't go through all the scales because that's, at least for me today, it's pointless. So I just decided to go st start simple, C major, A minor, mix up the articulations a little bit, um, use your metronome so i'm consider I'm, I'm working a little bit more on timing on on this third day okay so um i think i'm gonna leave you with this so i took me three days to go back to shape um i'm not perfect yet uh so i'll from now i can start my regular and detailed practice you know i don't i didn't do this on the first day because i wanted to have a more general picture now that i have it my muscles are pretty much there then i can just uh, focus on what I have to focus. So my general advice is if you stop playing for a while or if you're picking the saxophone up uh, for the first time, you want to allow your muscles to strengthen, to be strong. Your mind has to be flexible in terms of, of musicality and, and, and musicianship. Um, so uh, start broad and then as days goes by, go by, you start making a little bit more narrow and then you start to be more detailed. If you are detailed from the, from day one, but you haven't played for six months, then you, you're gonna be facing troubles here and sound-wise, which is the main thing, you know? Saxophone, the main thing you wanna worry about is the sound, that's it. Once you have that, then you start worrying about other things, okay? And uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave you with that. Thanks guys for joining me on this third day of getting back to shape it was it was nice having you with me and i will see you i will see you soon subscribe to the channel if you like to and uh, and practice <laughs> <laughs>